friends, Dr. Rose here from Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner. For those of you who are new, welcome. And for those of you who are return subscribers, I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing my videos with your friends and your colleagues. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this is your vibe. If this is not your vibe, I hope you will continue watching this video and still post the thumbs down button if you did not like this video and don't worry this will not hurt my feelings a bit so today is a super nice video i want to share with you today this is regarding my ride or die collection today we are going to talk about my jasmine fragrances as you know i love a really good jasmine fragrance and today i have five of them that i want to talk to you about before we get into the fragrances let's talk about the safety tip for the week or should i say the safety tip for today because i post more than one video a week so each time i post a video there will be some kind of safety tip associated with that video okay you ready for it you know we all have smartphones now right and we usually use our smartphones to post our addresses we have our addresses safe on our smartphones and also on our GPS devices in our cars. Because it's easier if we are somewhere and we need to get home, we can just put, you know, push the address from the smartphone or from the GPS and use that address to get home. There's a danger to this. The danger is that if you ever lose your phone or if someone breaks into your car, that person will know where you live. And that can be very dangerous, especially if you're not home. Someone can break into your house and come and rob you. Or if you lose your phone, you still know how to get home. You could be at home sleeping and someone just walks in because that person has access to your address. So the one thing you can do to protect yourself is to set your GPS and the address on your phone to an address nearby your house. And what that means, do not use your neighbor's address or your friend's address who lives next door to you because you don't want to put that person in danger himself or herself. What you want to do is to maybe use a local address in the area, maybe a school, uh, maybe a library, a bookstore, a grocery store, a pharmacy, something that is close by, you know, the minute your GPS takes you to that location, you'll be able to get home without having to use the GPS again. So remember, the safer you are, the better you are. Set your GPS on your phone and in your car as an address nearby, not your personal address. This was my safety tip for the, today and I hope you will put it in good use. Now, let's get into those fragrances. So let's talk about ride or die jasmine fragrances. When I tell you about ride or die jasmine fragrances, these are jasmine fragrances that the minute I put them on, I feel like I am alive. You know, I love those fragrances. They will always be part of my collection. Today, I only have five of them. And the first one is one that you guys know, you know, that's my favorite fragrance in the entire world. And it is still, women my favorite fragrance even though i have a lot of other fragrances that i love but that one my gosh you guys have heard the story about this fragrance you've heard me talk about it i've mentioned it in almost maybe five or seven videos in the past and i'm still talking about it today this is tom ford jasmine rouge you know the story about that fragrance you know it was given to me by an ex-boyfriend who wanted to kill me so i drop his ass and I kept the fragrance and I still buy the fragrance till this day. So let me tell you the notes on this fragrance, okay? Top notes are cinnamon, ginger, bergamot, cardamom, pepper, and mandarin orange. Middle notes we have Ilan Ilan, Noli, 
Boom and Clary Sage. I have no idea what boom means, but it sounds good, doesn't it? Base note, we have amber, some woodsy notes. We also have vanilla, leather, and French labdanum. Thank God I cannot smell the leather in this fragrance because you know, you guys know, I do not like leather and I do not like tobacco in my fragrance because I don't want to smell like a pipe and I don't want to smell like a, a, an expensive handbag, right? So, I absolutely adore this fragrance. Even though it's a Tom Ford fragrance lately, you know that I've been really disappointed with some of the new releases from the house, but I still love this fragrance. I had, I used to have the body lotion. They stopped making the body lotion. I was really hurt when they stopped making it. If you know anybody who has a body lotion for sale, let me know. I will pay money for it because I love this fragrance. Oh my gosh. I cannot stop wearing this fragrance. Every time I wear this fragrance, I feel like a, you know, a million bucks. I feel sexy. I feel beautiful. I feel alive. If you've never tried this, guys, please try it. You will absolutely love this fragrance. My second fragrance from my Ride or Die Jasmine fragrance is Jasmine Marzipane from Maison Lacombe. Oh my God, sexy goodness is all I can say about this fragrance. It is so gorgeous. This one was released in 2016 and I think it has been discontinued, guys. If you have one, hold on to it like dear life because you are not going to find this fragrance again. Do not give it to your best friend. I'm just joking. Of course you can give it to your best friend, but do not give it to your enemy because she will take it and you will never see her again, right? So, to me, this is a gorgeous fragrance. It's very clean, very feminine, uplifting, cozy at the same time. It's just another beautiful fragrance that I have in my collection. If you look at my Fragrantica page, you will see this as one of the top fragrances that I have ever since I've had this fragrance and I still think of it as being one of the sexiest jasmine fragrance. What would I wear this to? I would wear this to work. I've worn it to work. I've worn it out. I don't think it's a fragrance to go out to a black tie event or something very uh, prestigious, but you can wear this. This could be your yearly jasmine fragrance to wear all year long. You will never get tired of wearing it. It lasts a long time. It doesn't last 16 hours or anything like that, but I think you can get at least seven and a half hours to eight hours out of this fragrance. You will love wearing it. So let me tell you about the notes in this fragrance. So the notes from this beauty are Jasmine Sambac, Jasmine, of course, Almond Wood, Moss, Bourbon Vanilla, Cashmere Wood, and Sandalwood. So it's a little boozy, not a lot of boozy. It's not too boozy where you cannot wear it to work. You can wear this fragrance. It is so sexy and beautiful, and I love wearing it. This is my third bottle from this fragrance, and I think I have a backup bottle. And no, I'm not selling my backup bottle. Don't even try. Okay? I love you, but mm, not that much. All right. Again, Jasmine Marzipane from Maison Lacombe. Sexy goodness. My third fragrance is Bewitching Yasmin from Penhaligans. Oh, let me tell you. I can honestly tell you this is one of the best fragrances I've ever owned in the Jasmine family. Okay, it makes me feel like I'm walking to a mossy, carpeted, smell good piece of wood, right? It has some incense, some deep spices. It floats into the air and it's very comforting, right? But also very loud scent. When you wear this, when you're coming down the streets, people will smell you. People will want to get close to you because it's just so really great. It has some vanilla in it, but it has the kind of spices that will not give you a headache. You will not get a headache from wearing this, but I would caution you from wearing this to go to work because it is not a work friendly fragrance. You can wear this to go out with friends and especially if it's really cold outside and then you spray this fragrance 
all over your upper body, someone will want to kiss you all over. It's a very solid fragrance. Not a lot of people talk about it. Even on Fragrantica, it has 3.17 stars. And I don't know why, because a lot of people talk about this fragrance as, you know, that it is a really great fragrance. But it has to be appealing to you in order for you to like it. If you're one of those people who like very light scents and, you know, little flowery fragrances, this is not the fragrance for you. But if you are that powerful woman, that powerful guy who likes to wake up in the morning, take your shower, put on a really nice fragrance on you, know that you don't have to repeat it throughout the day, this is the fragrance for you. So now let's get into the notes for this fragrance. Even though the notes will be somewhere up here for you already, they probably are there already, and they will also be in the description box, but I still want to tell you about the notes for this fragrance. The notes for the bewitching Yasmin are tap notes, cardamom and coffee, right? Once you put this on, you will feel like you're drinking a cup of sweet coffee with some booze in it. Middle notes, we have jasmine, of course. We have fur. I don't know what fur is. Who knows? It sounds good, right? Base note, Tahitian vanilla, Laotian oud, and incense. Let me tell you something. The vanilla in this mixed with the coffee and the jasmine, oh my gosh, it is breathtaking. If you're going on a date with a guy, you want him to remind you the entire night and next week, I urge you, spray this baby on. When you hug him, he'll be like, shoot, this woman smells hot. He will never forget you. Look at it again. There it is, guys. Beautiful jasmine fragrance. All right, third fragrance, guys. Kiss My Name by Remo Monegal. It's telling you to kiss his name, okay? This is one of the most beautiful jasmine base and tuberose fragrances that you will have. When Remo Monegal created this fragrance, he created a feminine creation. It tells you it has some potent tuberose, some beautiful jasmine, it's kind of like almost identical to Fracas, you know, by Piguet. I don't know if you've ever smelled this. I used to have Fracas by Piguet, and it reminded me of this. And one of my subscribers told me about this fragrance, and then she knows about a lot of fragrances. Her name is Stefan, and when she mentioned this to me, I purchased it, and I have not regret a, a minute since I purchased this fragrance. It's incredibly beautiful. It's great for a wedding. If you're going to a wedding, spray this baby on you. Do not spray it on your beautiful dress because you don't want to the perfume to last on the dress because it's very long lasting. Even after you send your dress to the cleaners, it will still, the fragrance might still be lingering on the dress, but spray this perfume on your skin. Let it dry first. Give it about 15 minutes before you put your dress on. This baby will stay on you. If you're dancing at that wedding, you are circling yourself around and that guy or that girl is, you know, turning you around. Guess what? Everyone around you will be smelling you. And they'll be like, what is this lady wearing? I need to try this fragrance. It's sexy. It's beautiful. It's long lasting. You will love it. It's not too expensive. The bottle is a little small, but my gosh, you will get your money's worth. Note for this fragrance. We have two girls. Egyptian Jasmine, Tolu Balsam, Tunisian Neroli, and Iris. Get your hand on this. You will love this. I'm telling you right now. My last fragrance from this collection, my Ride or Die Jasmine fragrances, is Jaminisha from Mores. The right way to say it is Jasminisha, but I leave the S out. Ladies, guys, Get your hands on this baby. It is a sweet jasmine fragrance. It lasts a very long time. It has ginger, some mandarin orange. It has some jasmine again on the middle note. You have ginger flower and orange blossom again, right? Based note, you have some sweet notes, some vanilla, some white moss, some amber, and some woodsy notes. 
This is Sex in a Bottle. It is probably the least expensive of the fragrances that I spoke of tonight. And in my opinion, it could be number one. Okay? The price is very reasonable. Get your hands on this fragrance. Try it. Spray it on you. Wear it to bed. Wear it out. Wear it for that special someone. You will be kissed. Yes! I know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, this is it for the show today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope if you get to smell one of these fragrances, you will come back and comment and let me know what you think of it. Don't forget to buy the perfume, buy the shoes, wear the perfume wherever you want to wear them to. Eat the dessert as long as you are not a diabetic. Remember that, right? And forget about the haters. They are all haters. They are going to hate. You might as well look good, smell good, and go about your business. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Take care now. Bye.